This is Gobi Life. Welcome back to the channel. It's Toyota Time with Timmy the Tool Man. I'm Sean. We got Chris behind the camera, and we're gonna install a Gobi roof rack on a third generation Toyota 4Runner. Gobi roof racks is made here in the good old US of A over in Colorado. And this rack that we're installing today is called their Stealth roof rack. If you check out this roof rack on Gobi's website, you'll notice that you have some different customization options. For me, I went with the full roof rack. Even though I have a sunroof, I opted not to get the sunroof cut out. I can still open it up, I can still get the cool breeze, but ultimately I wanted as much roof rack real estate as possible to put stuff on when we're going out on the trails and we just want to put stuff up on the roof rack for travel. So you have a little bit of customization when you're going through and ordering this roof rack. Everything from Gobi is custom made, so you'll know that the roof rack that you're buying for you was made specifically for you, which is pretty cool. On top of that though, there is a little bit of a lead time, so you just gotta be patient. Like they say, patience is a virtue, but a couple months and here we have it. We got it locked and loaded and we're ready to get it installed. For those of you that have 5th gen 4Runners, click on the link above. We have a video installing a Gobi rack on a 5th gen as well. So now we're gonna add a third gen to our arsenal. We partnered with Beyond Wraps. Marvin over there sent us some Topo and some matte black wrap options so we could put that down, install it, and protect the roof line right there, right above the windshield. So there's no unnecessary damage from the fairing rubbing. Let's get started. So we have mostly everything unboxed and this Gobi rack is pretty simple. We have some hardware and everything's really nicely labeled. We have bags with numbers and those correspond with the constructions. And we also have the little feet and these are all labeled really well. We have the driver and passenger side front foot and then we have these support brackets with the stickers on top that say this side up. We have this box of hardware and that's what all this stuff came in. We have the fairing support. We have these little T-nuts. They're gonna go inside the slot and a bunch of hardware instructions and of course the rack itself. They also throw in a gift. At this time, they are giving away this like duffel bag tote, but depending on when you're buying your Gobi rack, you have an option for a gift, so that's kind of cool. If you take a look on my roof right now, you can see the aftermath of a roof rack that has kind of damaged the paint. And so we got this from Beyond Wraps and Marvin over there hooked it up with a bunch of stickers and we got this topo wrap from him. It's pretty slick. And it also comes with a ladder. We're gonna have the install of the ladder in a second video. So in this video, we're gonna focus just on the roof rack itself. And you can reference that other video for the ladder. So first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have all the necessary hardware that comes with this kit. So we did that, we opened up everything we verified that we have all the nuts and bolts and fasteners and brackets and all that stuff. Everything is really nicely labeled. So if you follow the instructions, you're gonna get this thing installed, no problem. So here we are on essentially the first step. We're gonna put these T-nuts into place. And it shows you the little end cap here that you need to remove, indicated by the arrow. And so with these roof rails off the truck, I'm gonna show you an easy way that you can kind of like lever this out. Here it is also showing you that you need to remove the luggage bar that goes across. To remove that successfully, you do have to remove these caps in order for it to slide out the slot. These are the T-slot nuts, these bars with the threads on them that Gobi provides. And here's a comparison to the T-nuts that are stock and kind of come in these slots. They have these little plastic carriers, so they slide a little bit easier. But these are gonna slide in and then that's how they're gonna secure. On the actual luggage crossbars, they're kind of like built into the plastic parts, so they don't have these nuts. These nuts are for the, the support beams that go over the top of the roof. But essentially, these just slide in just like these other OEM nuts would. They just fit right in there. And we're gonna put one on each side of the roof rail slot. There's really no need to remove these nuts for the support bars that touch the top of the roof. Uh, we took them out just because we were taking everything apart, but we're gonna put them back in, and then these are gonna go on either end. So with all that said, my recommendation to actually getting these end caps off is obviously remove the little Torx bolt that's securing it in. But the problem is it wants to kind of like lever out, 
and then that's how it's gonna come out safely and not like break off this plastic clip. But when the whole rail is installed on the top of the roof, you're not gonna have the freedom to bend this out like that. It's gonna be straight. And so you're gonna be struggling trying to pry up on this and, and push it out this way, maybe scraping the top of your roof as well. So that's one caution. If you just undo all five torques, you can actually remove this whole thing. And when you remove the whole thing, these will come with it. And then you can just get it on the, on like a corner like this and you'll be able to just lever it out really safely. So that part's optional. I'll leave that up to you, how you wanna actually remove these end caps here. So again, to get these back in, this whole roof rail is completely detached and that gives you an opportunity to kind of pivot it in. And then we can secure this back down with the five Torx 25 bolts. Again, before we put these in, we actually put a little dab of silicone in there and that way it keeps everything watertight. Moving on to the next step, we're gonna be installing these brackets that support the roof rack. And as indicated on this little pictorial, you'll see that we need to space that back about an inch on either side. And this is coming from bag number three. They give you some Gobi branded anices, pretty fancy. Got a little picture of a forerunner there, so you know you got the right stuff. And then this is the hardware that comes inside bag number three. We did get one extra lock washer. They're gonna give you the Allen key, but they're also gonna give you the Torx key as well. They're pretty much gonna give you everything you need, so that's pretty nice. The one thing they're not gonna give you is a helping hand from a good buddy. So you'll definitely need some help from somebody to lift this roof rack on top of the roof itself. So with all these brackets, you'll see that it says this side up. So we're gonna put that side up. When we install these, we have a lock washer on our button head Allen bolt, and then the regular washer. We're gonna put a little bit of that anti-seize lubricant on some of the threads, and we're gonna screw it in. So we got these an inch away from the end here, and we're gonna tighten these up pretty tight, not so tight, just in case we need to loosen them up and move them a little bit. But we do want them snug enough to where it's not gonna do that activity because we're about to put the roof rack on top of here and we're gonna want some you know, more rigid structure for it to sit on. So we're gonna tighten all these up, maintaining the one inch distance that is specified in the instructions. So next, we're gonna get the roof rack on top of here. Now, things got a little out of our control and we had to stop prematurely so we installed the roof rack and then we came back a little while later and then installed the topographic vinyl from Beyond Wrap. So as you see here, we did have to move the roof rack back just a smidge and have enough space to where the roof rack wasn't gonna be on our way. So if you're not gonna put this vinyl in place, then you can proceed with the installation, loosely install the wind fairing and then mask it off so you know where to apply this clear plastic tape that Gobi Racks gives you in the kit. Now, we're not gonna go into great detail into how to install vinyl we're definitely not professionals and we learned a little bit along the way. So I think if we were to do this again, we'd get it better. But ultimately this Topo vinyl from Beyond Wraps is pretty sweet. It adds a nice element and it's going to protect another area on the roof where the feet ride. So you'll see that I used some pieces that we cut off from the sides and I actually kind of extended the vinyl beyond its original location so that the feet could sit on this vinyl instead of on the paint. There might be enough of the clear protector that Gobi provides, but the topographic vinyl just looks way cooler in my opinion. So that's what we installed in place of the clear protector that Gobi provides. So head on over to beyondwraps.com and you can check out some more of their products and even order vinyl by the foot. So you got a lot of options here where you can customize your rig and show off to your friends with some vinyl sick mods. And don't forget to use the promo code sick mods for a discount. So now that we lifted up the roof rack onto the supports, we actually have to secure it. And before we secure it, we're gonna put these little rubber pads in between. And you can see that's notated here by number 10. And also we need to get the hardware installed. So this hardware comes from bag number four. And we have bolts, we have nylon nuts, and we also have a plethora of washers. So if you just follow the diagram, you'll see how everything's laid out. So again, as mentioned, I'm gonna slip this little rubber stopper in between. Just gotta lift it up a little bit. 
And you might want to keep your Allen head handy because you might need to do a little bit of adjustment. But we're just trying to get all the hardware kind of just loose in there so everything's fitting nicely before we make our final tightening. And again, we have our bolt with a washer that's going to go through the top. And then we're going to come underneath with the washer and the nylon lock nut. And we're going to do the same on all sides, just get everything secured loosely and then go back for final fitment and tighten everything down. So continuing with the hardware from bag four, we have two of these little rubber stoppers remaining, some bolts with the washers and the lock nuts, and then these feet that are adjustable. So when you actually like bolt them to the roof rack, then you can adjust accordingly to the roof line. And then once you got the right fitment, then you'll just tighten down the hardware on the back here with these nuts, and then it will just lock into place wherever you had it. So I don't know how this is gonna go yet, but I just wanted to show that it's adjustable. And so we're gonna secure these to either side. They're nicely labeled, passenger side and driver's side, so you can't mess them up. And they also have a little piece of foam with some adhesive, so you can take that off and then everything will pretty much be locked into place at that point. Now, before you take off this backing for the adhesive, what the Gobi instructions say to do is install it into place, make your adjustments, put some masking tape down so you know where it goes back. Then you're gonna take it off, remove the adhesive, and then put it back into place using the masking tape as a guide. So what we got is our hardware coming from the top, so a bolt and a washer. And then underneath, we actually slid our little rubber piece and the threads kind of hold it in place, so that's nice. And then we're gonna slip this on, lift up the roof rack a little bit, and put the other washer and lock nut on the bottom side of the bolt thread. Here's everything we'll need to install the wind deflector. Of course we have the wind deflector, the rubber seal is already attached. We have the support brackets, and then of course we have the hardware. There are six mounting points, three on the wind deflector and three on the roof rack itself to secure these. The hardware includes six bolts, six nylon lock nuts, and 12 black nylon round flat washers. We're gonna loosely attach the brackets to the back of the wind deflector and then bring it over to the rig and fasten the middle one first and then kind of bend the wind deflector in on each side and then fasten the left and right bracket so it follows the curvature of the windshield. So we're gonna start to install these brackets loosely on the back of the wind fairing and the nylon lock nuts are an 11 millimeter. Just get it just tight enough so you can still move it, but not so tight that it locks it in place. See so like right there, just, just past the, the point. So when attaching this fairing, we are starting with the middle bracket and getting the back end aligned with the back of the mounting plate for the light bar in this front area. We're going to tighten this bolt so this middle position is locked in place. So then next we have to bend, bend this in. Gotta tighten the actual, yeah, those ones. Man, it's all freaking wrapped up, dude. All right. See the Gobi racks putting in work. It's his first trip out. It's quite a bit of snow. And yeah, this is Gobi life. Up here on the rack. Gotta get some of the snow off before we start driving. Can't name a better looking rack. But don't tell my wife that. All right, with all that said, we thank you for watching. We thank you for subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, of course do that below. We'll see you in the future for some more sick mods. This is Gobi Life. All right, you ready? No. I think I'm going to sink to the bottom. Oh! Oh, yeah, for her. Oh, oh for sure, for her. Oh, yeah, for her.